It's been a little while since I did an update on the bees and I have four hives at the moment. This one, Blencathra, is a swarm from May uh, this year and they've just been on single brood throughout and they're probably the friendliest bees I've had. Um, I'm just sat in front of the hive now and as you can see it's pretty busy. I think they're mostly foraging on the balsam and they're not bothering me at all. So behind there, the cedar hive over there, that is a swarm from last year which came through the winter and then they swarmed in I think the start of May uh, which weakened them quite a lot. Uh, they built up reasonably well again. It took them a while to requeen, but they did requeen, and we got probably half a half a super off them uh, in the summer. It was a pretty it was a pretty rubbish summer here in the UK. So although the spring was warm uh, in the summer, they tended to eat eat quite a lot of the honey that they had uh, accumulated in the spring. So. Probably could have got a, a better crop from them if I'd harvested earlier and, and fed them. So anyway, they've got, they're, again, they're just on single brood at the moment. The, the super on top has just uh, got a feeder inside. So I've taken the roofs off and we'll just have a look inside. As you can see, Blencathra is a lot busier than the cedar hive. Uh, I think that's partly because there's some bees hatched out and are orientating, but also it's just a much stronger hive, so they're just foraging a lot better. So we'll take a look in the top. I made these polycarbonate crown boards, which are really, really helpful for seeing what the bees are up to without actually having to pop the crown board and disturb them. So this one is absolutely packed with bees, which is looking really good for the winter. And in comparison, I've had to feed these ones a little bit. Not as many bees, as you can see, they're not really working the two outside frames there. And I'm just feeding them a bit to, just sort of little and often to try and encourage the queen to, to lay a bit more, uh, just to, to increase the numbers for winter. So this is the location of my other two hives. Uh, they're in an out apiary just in a woodland setting, not too far from home. We've got Scarfell and Helvellyn. And Helvellyn was a swarm from, again from May, uh, similar to Blencathra around the same time. And Scarfell, Scarfell came through last winter. They were a swarm from last season. Uh, they came through the winter and then unfortunately they decided to supersede their queen in April and took a long time to, to requeen. Um, so the, there was a, you know, there was quite a big brood break where there was no eggs being laid. And so they never really got going this year. Um, again, we got about half a super off them of honey and they ate the rest during the, the kind of rainy summer that we had. So we'll have a look inside these two. So this is Helvellyn, as I say they were a swarm from last year and they're doing pretty well. Um, none of them seem to be doing as well as, as uh, Blencathra, despite I think these were, this swarm was actually caught earlier in the year, sorry a bee just pinged me then, caught earlier in the year, uh, so I was expecting them to to be doing better but maybe, I think this location's maybe not not quite as good as uh, as the other one. So again, I'm just feeding these a little bit, uh, just two, probably two or three hundred mil mils of uh, one to one syrup every couple of days, and I'll probably do that until the end of September. And then I'll feed them a heavy two to one syrup just to get them up to weight, so they've got enough stores for the winter. So this is Scarfell, I think these are the uh, the nastiest of the bees, um, I think it's probably one of those that just pinged me before. I wouldn't say they're, they're super nasty, they're just uh, maybe not quite as quiet as, as the others. 
Um, again, they're just kind of a modest size. I'd like them to uh, to build up the bee numbers a little bit for the winter, uh, just to give them a, a better chance at getting through. So you can see there's not much going on at either of these hives today. I think possibly with it being uh, in a woodland, it's it's still quite early in the day, and I think it takes a little bit of time for them to to get flying compared to the other site where the sun hits it a little bit not that there's much sun today but the sun does hit it a bit earlier in the day and they tend to get out get out a bit earlier so that's my four hives um as i say it's the is it the 16th or actually it's the 17th of september today um i'll just trickle feed them until the end of the month and i'll feed them a heavy two to one syrup at the end of the month just to get them uh, so they've got plenty of stores for the winter and the other thing I'm going to do in the next couple of days is I'm going to vape them with oxalic acid and I'm probably going to vape three times at uh, five day intervals might even do four vapes just to try and get the varroa load the varroa mite load as low as possible going into winter <laughs> 